All right, even though Oregon is far away from the origins of the civil rights movement, its history cannot be forgotten or repeated. And that's what organizers of the Martin Luther King Jr. March had to say about their event today. It was pushed to today after getting canceled due to the ice storm last month. KCI 9 news reporter Noah Chavez attended today's march and shows us why the event has a deeper impact on the Eugene community. I've always come. Right, yes. Every year I've been in Arkansas. Outside of Autzen Stadium in Eugene, groups, organizations, and local citizens gathered for the Martin Luther King Jr. March that was delayed by the January ice storm. So our group is supporting the march because of our uh, commitment to racial justice and equity, goals that were elevated by uh, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and are fundamental to the work of the NAACP. I just think it's important that we keep showing up for justice, yeah. for racial justice in our community, for each other, um, building our connections and our relationships, and we've been here for years. We'll be here next year, too. <laughs> the march was put together by the Eugene Springfield NAACP. Their goal, like years before, is to continue to pay respect to the civil rights movement. Oh, very meaningful. It's, uh, you know, it, it really, it's, it is, it is the, it is symbolizing us moving, us moving through the community and, and showing that, that, that you have to stop and pay attention to what's going on. This year's route was changed slightly to enable marchers to walk down High Street, connecting the march of the present to the marches of the past. The road actually cuts off from Martin Luther King Boulevard. It's actually going to cut through Alton Baker Park, across the Willamette River, into downtown. You see people march through the, the street speaking about that, the, those rights and that justice and, those, and that peace, right? And, and from all walks of life, you know, uh, that makes it, it makes it something that, uh, that people have to stop and pay attention to. Even though Oregon is thousands of miles away from the historic sites of the civil rights movement, organizers say that each and every state reap the benefits of the fight for equality. You know, the civil rights movement may have started in the South, but the, the impacts of, of Jim Crow of the black coats and things of that nature. But it took a movement for people across the entire country to really start paying attention and getting involved from where they were. With the mile and a half march ending at the Shedd Institute, participants feel there is still a long way to go when it comes to racial equality in the country. I would like to see an end to that and acknowledge siding with love and putting love first. I come out every year. I think it's an important time to remember no matter how much progress we've made, we have a lot more progress we need to make. And because I work at the law school, I think it's important to um, promote black lives and black lawyers. With another march accomplished, organizers feel issues of racial justice will gain more attention. And, and Eugene is, is an opportunity to, to show like as we come together as a community, that voice gets loud, louder. Reporting in Eugene, Noah Chavez, KZI, 9 News.